See, there's about this much room on this side of my head, and that much room on your side. Yeah, we're good. And I have this much room to smack you in the face. Yeah. Mine's not rerouting. Where does this other stuff? Okay, that wants it to go around the loop, so. This whole thing is a loop, though. What is this? This is like having us go. It wants us to go back down that road. It doesn't exist. Why can't I zoom out on this piece of shit? This is a bunch of crap. We stayed at Pinewood Lodge Campground. It's just campground, right? Not an RV park. Yeah. Pinewood yeah. Lodge Campground. It's huge. Yeah, it's, it's really big, and you can see the fine wood around us. Yeah. Said they have about 300 RV sites. They also have those yurts, which are behind us. I don't know if you can yurts. see. Yeah, you can see one right there. Yurt. yurt. That's a fun word to say. Yurt. I don't know what those go for. I don't, we don't know what they have in them or anything. But we can tell you <laughs> that only some of the sites have sewer hookups. Yes. Ours no, did not. And only some of the sites allow dogs. It's very strange about the dog situation here. I don't know if they really like dogs. They said they just recently started allowing dogs in this park, and they only allow dogs in this park in part of the park. Yeah, there's a big red line on the map where no dogs And are there's allowed. lines on the pavement yeah, that don't. say <laughs> dogs prohibited beyond this line. So um, just know that you can't take your dog everywhere in this park. I mean, there's still, there's still plenty to walk her around because she's little. We did take the bike out once when we were here. What's up, people? <laughs> we're in Plymouth, Massachusetts. Yes. Which is weird because I feel like it was just a week or so ago that we were talking about making our way up to New England and we were here. Yeah. So. Plane. 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 The plane. So we're headed out on the bike to Sandwich. Yeah. A place called Sandwich. To maybe get a sandwich. Probably not. Or sushi. <laughs> or something. Yeah, just to ride around, check it out. We heard it's a quaint little area, and we're gonna see if that's true. Yeah, because it's not very far from Pinewood Lodge Campground, which is where we are right the second. Look at the trees. <whistles> Look at those trees. Bye. <whistles> Look at that. <whistles> <laughs> it's kind of cool, but it's hard to tell when you're in the rig, like really what kind of day it is outside because the trees are so tall that they sometimes kind of mask the fact that it's a nice day, but it's a nice day. It's so really we're going nice. to go ride. Yep. Riding the motorcycle around here, wasn't great. Just, I didn't really like it either. I was a scared passenger. The people from here probably know they're pretty aggressive drivers. Just like, like Miami drivers. Yeah. Oh, you have the stranger's way of loving someone. And it feels like it's all over before it has begun. did make the mistake of going after five o'clock, so it was rush hour. So there was that added sense of tension there. the 
bike to Sandwich in Cape Cod, which is like right at the tip of Cape Cod, really. We got there after five and it seemed like everything was closed, but like one restaurant. Yeah, it was on a Monday or Tuesday. Yeah, but still nothing was open. It was a really charming little town. We drove by the Hoxie house, which is supposed to be the oldest house on Cape Cod. We did find like the, I think the only restaurant that was open. Got a sandwich. In sandwich. <laughs> Technically a wrap, but it was on the sandwich menu. I couldn't go without getting a sandwich in sandwich. That's true. We took a different route back. We took a highway back, so it wasn't as tense. Yeah, uh, believe it or not, the side roads were probably a little more nerve wracking than the highway. It wasn't the interstate, it was the highway. Yeah. It's been a long, long time. We've been down the same old tracks. And I've spent my last time on Sailor Place on three acts. about where we're located is we're pretty close to downtown Plymouth. 20 minutes tops, 15 minutes? Yeah, 15 minutes max, yeah. I think. It's a rock. It's just a rock. See? Literally. It's a rock. <laughs> it's a rock with a date stamped in it. Clearly. It's, it's the a... real thing because it's got a date stamp. <laughs> I mean, it is cool. It's a rock. We're here. We uh, <laughs> we made it. It's a the rock. The little town is really cute, though. It's right on uh, Cape Cod Bay. The one place I really liked that we ate, what was that called? Um, New World Tavern with the chowder. Yeah, that well, that place had really good chowder. We saw the oldest church in the United States. That was really neat. That church was next to Burial Hill that has I think that the oldest tombstone is, dates back into the 1600s. I don't know exactly the date. We've been at Pinewood Lodge this whole week so far and it's been quiet. Super quiet. And check it out, like nobody's here. Look all the way around. Show them all. Look, look. look. We're gonna make them dizzy in our... I'm our dizzy. <laughs> We're told that this place really picks up on the weekend, so it'll be interesting to see what the crowd gets like. Yeah, you know? I think this is the first weekend that kids were out of school That's here. right. But the kids get out of school around here this week sometime or today or tomorrow or something yeah. so they're expecting some big crowds so it should be interesting yeah. to see the peace and quiet will fade away yeah does peace fade away yeah it could <laughs> if there's a lot of people this is the calm before the storm yeah so anyhow that's that we're gonna go to martha's vineyard today Ooh. never been there yep that it
think so. Okay. I'm currently researching what we should go see. Asbury Root. Because <laughs> there's a lot of different little villages and to towns or whatever you call them on this island. We know nothing about it, really. Nope, we're just gonna go and... Probably should have researched it a little bit more, but we're gonna take the ferry from... We're going Woods Hole. Woods Hole Ferry to Oak Bluffs. Yeah. It's about an, almost an hour from the campground to the ferry and then about a 45 minute ferry ride. So don't go to the port thinking you're gonna park and get on the ferry. I think unless you're taking your car <laughs> on the ferry. Yeah. So we get there and we wait in the long line of cars only to find out that we have to travel about seven miles away to a location where then we park and then we get shuttled back. So we're probably not gonna make the 12 o'clock ferry. Just keep in mind, if you've never been to Martha's Vineyard before, and I did, I mean, I did look online for different things about ferries and stuff, and I didn't really see this part of the deal. Found the parking lot. Over here. Other side of the code? The last thing. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, we thought we were parked. <laughs> But apparently, big ass trucks have to park in a special spot all the way in the back. <laughs> yeah, so vehicles over 18 feet are $30 First to park. First one's here. 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 Not really. But Pretty practically close. nobody here. Yeah, Thursday. another situation where we're on a boat and we're the only ones on the observation deck just like the Georgia Queen. There's like all of five people on the observation deck. I don't know where all the people are. It's pretty funny. So we've made it to Martha's Vineyard. Ta -da! As you can see, we're right here. It looks like Key Westy kind of warm water, but it's not. It's not. <laughs> but speaking of warm, the weather forecast made me believe that I should wear this long sleeve shirt, and I'm pretty hot right now. So. And I've got my, I've got. Oh, hold on. We both got long pants on. Well. Probably should have wore shorts. The stupid weather forecast was wrong. Probably in the 70s here. It's probably 75. Yeah, the sun's warm though. Yeah. So we're going to find some food because the snack that we got beforehand is not enough. We need food. Okay. That's all we do is just drive around and eat different places pretty much. <laughs> yeah. We did have lunch at the Lookout Tavern, which uh, looks out over the water. Yeah. You get off the ferry, it's right there. It was really busy. It was all right. In hindsight, we probably should have walked a little bit past oh, the yeah. first thing that we saw. Yeah, we were to, hungry. To get a little bit yeah. further away. And I could use a nap, but I, we don't have any place to sleep. So I'm just gonna keep going. <laughs> they, they, they frown sleeping on the street. That grass looks really nice right now. I could sleep there. Right on the police station lawn. <laughs> <laughs>
There was a, a neat little area though. I don't know what area it's put the this tile house. Of this house. Is, it, is it actually called gingerbread? Oh, houses? I don't know. That's what I call it. <laughs> it's right off of Circuit Street. It's just kind of like an alley in between some of the shops and stuff. There's like a loop with all the bright colored houses with all like the lacy, what do you call that stuff? Lattice work? Lattice work on the houses. interesting it was like something out of a movie so that was pretty cool and we got some coffee we went to Ocean Park and just sat there okay, okay, I'll have to make this quick my arms too tired <laughs> so where are we we are at Ocean Park Right on Martha's Vineyard, right by the like, where the ferry goes back to Woods Hole. Woods Hole. Hole. <laughs> <laughs> it's a really pretty park. Something interesting just happened, though. Oh boy! In the just plain, right flat, grassy little area. Pulled his pants down, relieved himself, and then. I don't even know that he was that little. He looked to be about thirteen. Well, he looked to be about eight or ten. No, I can't tell from here. And that's still too old to do something like that. Drops trout in the middle of the field. Yeah. And we really only walked around Oak Bluffs for a few hours. And then I, my body said, that's yeah. it. We really thought, wow, how cool it would have been if we had the bike over here on Martha's oh, Vineyard. Yeah. It would have been a hike to get over there on the bike and then to ferry the bike over. Yeah, for me, but that was The ferry was a, does take just... cars over, so we could have done that. That yeah. would have been really neat to ride around Martha's Vineyard on the motorcycle. Yeah. Over. We also thought it would be such a cool thing to be able to camp. I looked up one campground, I think there may be two on all of Martha's Vineyard, but one of them that was on the island. Fit our rig, doesn't take dogs. Is this a New England thing? Yeah, why I, do you guys hate dogs? This park here doesn't take dogs. That park doesn't have any sections that allow dogs. So I'm gonna look into that a little bit more because I think that would be really neat to spend a week or 10 days at a campground there so we can really explore it. Because we just got a three hour taste of what Martha's Vineyard's all about. Sunday fun day. What? <laughs> I was gonna say, go. Oh. And you did. I, listen, I read your mind, we're like this. Yeah, we're like that. We're gonna get out of the house, go down to a little downtown Plymouth and find a place to get a little bite to eat and run to Staples for some office supplies and then go home and... Upload our Sunday video. Yeah, because it's Sunday fun day, Sunday release day. Oh, there's a little caterpillar on there. Uh, free ride. You're, you're, gonna wake, you're, you're gonna get off the truck in a whole new world. You're gonna be a Plymouth get Rock. It, get it, new world. Oh, ha, took a minute. <laughs> I had to think about it for just a second. You're a pilgrim. You're a little pilgrim. I have been lost for so long. Sixteen ounce beer I ordered. <laughs> That's okay. But cheers. That's the blues, baby. 
the oldest wooden commercial building is in that area too. And it used to be a courthouse. Now it's just a museum, but that was kind of neat. It was a free museum that we just mm -hmm. kind of stumbled into. And the guy that was there- It was very informative. Very informative, very nice. So that was a little he, he fun- He knew a impromptu. lot about the history of the area. courthouse was where John Adams used to practice oh, yeah. practice law before he signed the Declaration of Independence. That's right. That, that was, was pretty cool. cool. Courthouse recreation upstairs. Right. But the building is original. park has several playgrounds. There's a big lake right down here that you can do canoeing and kayaking and fishing and all that good water stuff that you do. Brave Massachusetts <laughs> kids swimming it. And we didn't cold get out. out and do, you know, our traditional canoe adventure like we like to do. And the weather was kind of crappy while we were here a lot of the times, like kind of rainy and cold. It's the end of June and... Yeah, we're not used to this kind of weather in June in Florida. I know, but, but it's, it's been nice. nice. It's nice. I mean... It's been refreshing, but we did have some crappy weather as well. Overall impression of Pinewood RV campground. Pinewood Lodge. I think we'd come back here. It's nice. Yeah. The sites are big. The site that we got, which is site 82, although it doesn't have sewer, it's a really big pull-through spot and it's really private because it's on the corner, but there's all these bushes along the front. So when you go out your front door, you just see the bushes. It's still a really cool mm -hmm. spot. And all the got. sites are pretty well spaced and decent sized. Mm -hmm. And they do have pull-through large sites with full hookups. Yeah. But you know, since they have the honey wagon that comes around, it's not that big of a it's deal. It's not that big of a deal. The camp ground itself I would come back to. It's really nice. It kind of has a state park feel to it. Yeah, good AT&T signal here. I would come back here to go back to Martha's Vineyard some more and maybe take the bike. We might want to find a campground closer to a ferry to Martha's Vineyard True. if we're going to do that. We enjoyed it here. We are moving on to just outside of Albany to meet up with our old neighbors back in from our neighborhood. We're hitting the road tomorrow morning. So we're looking forward to that. Yeah. Mike and Sherry were coming for you.